Hi students, so you are studying the kinetic theory and you have come across this term called the root mean square speed. A gas of course consists of a godzillion number of gas particles each going at its own speed and velocity. And the root mean square speed is, is some kind of average but not the average speed. Because when we calculate the root mean square speed, we do not sum up the speeds. Instead, we sum up the squares of the speeds. So that's the square in the root mean square speed. The next step is to mean it, meaning to average it. So if there are n gas particles, to calculate the average, we divide by n. And the last step is to root it meaning we square root the result. So this is how you calculate the RMS speed or the root mean square speed. So many students will ask why do we square it? Why root mean square? Why not root mean cube? Root mean to the power of 4 or so on. The short answer is because Ke is half mv square not half mv cube and so on. Because Ke is half mv square, the average Ke of the gas particles is given by half m times the average of the v squares. Not v cubed, v4, v5 or whatever. This term here by the way is called the mean square speed. Take for example if I have three gas particles uh, with speeds 1, 2, and 3 meters per second. A true gas would of course have godzillion number of gas particles, but I'm just trying to illustrate the idea, so 3 particles is enough. If you're calculating the average speed, then all you have to do is to sum up the 3 speeds, divide by 3, and get 2.0 meter per second. That's the average speed of these 3 gas particles. On the other hand, if you are calculating the mean square speed, then you don't sum up the speeds. Instead, you sum up the squares of the speeds. And then divide it by 3, giving you 4.67 uh, with a funny unit here. So strictly speaking, mean square speed is not even a speed. It's a, it doesn't even have the correct units for a speed. To calculate the root mean square speed, we just have to do the final step. We just have to take the square root of the mean square speed, giving us the answer of 2.16 meter per second. So the root mean square speed of these three gas particles uh, turn out to be 2.16 meter per second. If you want to calculate the average Ke of these three gas particles, all you have to do is to do half m times the root mean square speed square. Is the root mean square speed that you need to put into the v in half mv square if what you want is the average Ke. If you had used the mean speed instead, so if you have used 2.0 instead of 2.16, you get a different value and that value does not correspond to the average Ke. It's as simple as that. Okay, ta-ta.